What's up everyone, I'm Lincoln and today we're gonna to be looking at the Stoga Typewriter Gaming Keyboard. Now please make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of the reviews that we put out. We picked this up off Amazon and it will be linked in the description down below. So I really like the look and design of the keys and the overall keyboard. It looks awesome, but that's pretty much where my love for this thing goes away. It has two big dials on the top. The one on the right is to skip tracks on your music player. If you press it down, that's play pause. And if you press down and turn, that's the volume function. Now the left dial is tied to the backlight. I'm not really sure why they did that. They made it look the exact same. They also didn't label these, but they made it look the exact same as the one on the right. So turning the left one increases and decreases the backlight brightness. Clicking it down and turning it, you can change how fast the backlight cycles, and then just clicking it changes what is, what's happening on the backlight. Initially, I couldn't get any of this to work. All it was doing was white. Now it actually does cycle through the colors. That's great, but I still don't like the fact that the dials are the exact same. This could have been labeled differently or you know made a different size. It's fine. The left one should have been volume and the right one should have been skip track in my opinion. And then the brightness and all that stuff could have been an entirely different dial. The backlight is underneath all the keys and each key has a chrome ring around it. That causes really bad reflections and it makes it really hard to see the keys. The backlight also doesn't shine through the keys really nicely. So seeing the letters, especially if there's a light above you, is nearly impossible because this doesn't have any feet. So you cannot tilt it towards you by opening up the feet. It has to sit flat on the desk unless you manually put something underneath it to hold it up. That's another strike against it. I don't like the fact that it doesn't have feet. I wrote the script for this product review with this keyboard and I found that the backlight was obnoxious, the angle was really obnoxious, and just the overall functionality of the keyboard was kind of questionable in my opinion. The keys do make a satisfying click when you press them, but it's not quite, I mean, they look like typewriter keys, but it's not like a typewriter. I mean, you're not gonna get that with a keyboard. The good doesn't make up for the bad here. I finally did get the RGB colors to work. You'll notice it, see, it, even live, it's doing what it was doing before. So now it kinda, it takes click, 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 like so many clicks to kinda get it to work. No part of me wants to use this keyboard beyond writing the script for this video. Typewriter keyboards are really rad in my opinion. I really wanted to love this, but I think Stoga has their work cut out for them with this. This could be an amazing keyboard, but I think they just need to go back to the drawing board a little bit, add a few features. There's a whole, like in the instruction booklet, there's a bunch of like keyboard shortcuts that they've built into this thing that I'm kind of like, okay, whatever. There's like all these buttons at the top that are kind of useless. This will just open Google Chrome. This one takes you to the, your desktop. This one's for music. None of these I got to work. One of them is supposed to like lock the computer, sleep it, whatever. I couldn't get any of that stuff to work. So like I said, this could be a really great keyboard in the future if they decide to put the work into it. For now, I'm gonna give this thing like a two and a, it's a two and a half out of five. It's 50% there in my opinion. So that's gonna do it for my review on this one. It is linked in the description below. If you did wanna grab one for yourself, please like this video and make sure you're subscribed. If you aren't, how are you not subscribed yet? Subscribe so you don't miss any of the reviews we're putting out weekly. I'm Lincoln, thanks for watching.